Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to bring you a review and what's in my bag on the Vera Bradley Bucket Crossbody Bag. And today I am showing you the bag in the print Aerial Floral. This is the newest Disney release from Vera Bradley that came out I think a few weeks ago. And I was so happy to see that they were offering a new and different bag style. Usually in some of these limited or licensed releases, we get the same bags like a, a Vera Tote or a Triple Zip Hipster, an all-in-one crossbody, etc. But once in a while, Vera will throw in a few different bag styles, even sometimes a new bag style. And finally, we got a, a new bag style. Uh, this is also in the signature, regular signature line. So if you do not want Aerial Floral, you can get this and some of the new prints that are out. They also offer a microfiber black version right now and also a couple of canvas and straw versions for the summertime. So there is a wide variety of materials that you can pick up this new bucket crossbody bag style in. I wanna say a quick, quick disclaimer that all items in my videos that I show were paid uh, by my, with my own money. They are my own items. No one is paying me to say good or bad or whatever things about these products. These are my own opinions as always. And if for some reason one day, if I am ever sponsored, which I highly doubt that's ever going to happen, you will be the first to know. I will tell you, but uh, I once in a while get those comments asking if, how do I get free stuff? And, you know, that I sound like a Vera Bradley drone. Trust me, these are my own opinions, so... This was a requested video, and I, I did a poll on my Instagram recently, and I asked if you guys wanted me to do a review on the one in Aerial Floral, or if you wanted me to wait until I got the new uh, bucket crossbody bag in Bloom Bloom Navy. I ordered this bag a couple of days ago. It was actually supposed to arrive today, but it doesn't look like it's going to be here until Monday. So if you want me to do another like review, just even just on the pattern Bloom Bloom Navy, Bloom Boom Navy, sorry, um, let me know, comment down below and I can come back on here and do another review what's in my bag. I can just talk about the pattern Bloom Boom Navy, whatever you want. But if you do want to see another video, I know, I think most of you voted in the poll, you wanted to see that review on that new one. Um, just comment down below and I can just do another one. That's no problem. But today we're going to talk about the one in Aerial Floral. So I used this bag for a little over a week when I first got it. And one of the only reasons why I changed out of it is because it has been raining nonstop for like the past several weeks. It's raining right now. And so I have been in, in and out of different bags. But most consistently I've been in my small Jenny. This is a, a La Sport Sack style. It is a current style from La Sport Sack. And it is one of my favorite bag styles. If you watch my favorite styles of 2021, this I think landed in the number two spot, I think. So that is like one of my consistent styles. It's water resistant. It's lightweight. It's got the grab handles. It's like the perfect bag for me. But I will tell you right now, next to the small Vera tote, the bucket crossbody bag is my current favorite style from Vera Bradley. Why is that? Well, we have a nice strap here. It is adjustable, it is not removable, and it's not a swivel strap. It's fixed to the bag. On one side, you do get the square metal hardware, and then this side, the strap is attached directly to the bag. However, I do like the strap width. I think it's very comfortable, and the strap is very easy to adjust. They also gave you this little loop here that kind of keeps the double strap together so it's not like this all the time which is kind of nice so if you want to put it down to the bottom you can um, if you want to keep it in the middle or at the top you can um, but that's a nice feature and if you don't like that you can just cut it off it's not a big deal another thing I really like about this bag is it's some simpl simplicity there's not a whole lot going on in terms of outside organization or inside organization for that matter but if you are someone who really cares about pattern placement and you're either not near a store or you are near a store and you can't find your pattern placement there and you just want a bag where the pattern placement can really shine the bucket crossbody is gonna be for you 
whether you like a tote style or a crossbody style, this is like the best of both worlds because it's, you know, it's got the simplicity and almost the shape of maybe like a small tote, but you can sling it on and wear it as a crossbody. And that's what I really like about this bag. It's simple, but it's, it you know, it has a really good duality to it. And that is one of the reasons why I decided to get this bag is because of the simplicity of the outside organization. I knew, you know, there's a chance I could have gotten an aerial up here and it could, could have been a headless aerial. That's completely possible. But I did think my odds were better with the bucket crossbody bag getting good pattern placement versus, say, a small Vera tote. If you did watch my recent uh, video um, on my aerial floral collection, you saw that I got the small Vera tote as well. And I lucked out. I did order online and I got really good pattern placement. But I also did this because I'm like, I bet I'll get better pla pattern placement on this. I could get choppy pattern placement on the small Vera because it's got, you know, slip pockets and zipper pockets and straps going uh, vertically down the bag that cut directly into the pattern. Whereas with the bucket crossbody, you get nothing of the sort. You just get the beautiful pattern. And I did, you know, show this pattern in great detail in that aerial floral video. So if you want to check that out, we can. This is going to be more on the style, this review. On the other side, you have the same deal. No interruptions. However, Vera is sneaky. They did sneak in a top slip pocket. It is, you know, it. they did stitch it at the top so you can kind of see it. But depending on the pattern, it blends in. I mean, if you're looking at it back here and I didn't say anything, you might not be able to tell. Um, unless, I guess, you saw like a headless aerial or something right there. But there is a substantial slip pocket that goes all the way down to right about here. So the base of the bag is here. My finger is right here. So it is almost to the bottom. So you are going to be able to get your iPhone 13 Max. I, I can't remember if that's like the biggest one. But you can get the big tablet size phones in, in this pocket, at least lengthwise, it's going to fit because this pocket goes all the way down. I have my iPhone, uh, what is this, 13 mini. So this is the smallest iPhone that Apple currently makes. So it's tiny, but I know that you can fit, like if you've got like an iPhone 11, like the regular size one, that's the one I used to have. I don't have it anymore, of course, but I know it would fit in this pocket and it goes right down. And before like it, it's not like sticking out or anything let's see so you can see it down there and the top of it is right here so I've got almost you know a couple inches of space before it even hits that top if you got a taller phone you know it might go like here but you still have a little bit more space before it's there now I've worn this on my body and with the phone in there multiple multiple times and I have not once worried about it slipping out if you have a larger smartphone, I can I can understand my, you might be a little worried about that. There is no magnetic zip or snap closure. It kind of just is open. But when it's on the body, it kind of lays flat, at least for me. And I've never been worried about it. So speaking of on the body, we might as well, before we empty the bag out and see what fits inside, look at how the bag fits on the body. Because I don't think I showed this in my... Aerial Floral Haul, I think I just wanted to, you know, show you the collection itself. But this is what the bag looks like on the body. I love this. The great thing about this bag that Vera did is that they tapered it. So you have a big wide base here. I'll be sure to either put the measurements on the screen here of this bag. Or I'll leave it in the comments down below. So if I forgot to put it here, just... Look in the um, description bar right below the video and the measurements will be there. But this bag has a substantial base. But on this end, you can see how it's thick, but they tapered it up. So when it's lying on your hip like this, it's not bulking out at the top. Now, if you do pack it really full to the point where it's just like bulking all the way out, it might be a little thicker at the top. But either way, it's not going to be as thick at the top as it is at the bottom. So you can just have it lay nice and flat on your hip. And I think it's a really flattering, comfortable look and feel. I love this bag. Like I said earlier, this is my favorite current style that Vera is making. And 
I think a lot of us have been waiting for Vera to just release some new shoulder bag and or crossbody of style. I think we're all hoping that someday there's a medium Vera tote that lands on the website. I know a lot of us have been asking for that and maybe that's in the works, I don't know, but I'm so glad they finally decided to do something different. However, this is not too much different from a bag that they used to make called the Carson Hobo. There was a large and a mini version, and I do have the mini that we will do a comparison with at the end. So, as for outside features, that's it. Again, really simple. You get one zipper at the top, and again, I, I probably did mention this, maybe I forgot. You know, this comes in a lot of different fabrications. The fabrication that you're seeing on camera today is in the recycled cotton. So again, um, you know, you have recycled cotton, microfiber, canvas, and I think there's also a straw uh, version, versions of this particular bag. No performance twill as of yet. I think I would like to see this bag in performance twill, but that material is a little bit heavier though, so they might need to make the strap a little bit wider to kind of compensate for that heavier weighted fabric, but I don't know, we'll see. But again, you get the, um, at least with this particular one, again, this is a Disney version, um, but you do get the ribbed zipper pull with Vera Bradley and Disney on that side. One zipper, that's all you really need. It goes straight across. And that is the inside of my bag. So I'll just kind of pause here so you can kind of take a quick assessment of what I've got inside at this 10,000 feet view. On this particular bag, you have the Disney Vera Bradley consciously crafted little uh, nameplate back there, a gigantic zipper pocket. And on the other side, you have two substantial slip pockets. We'll start with those. So in these slip pockets, this is what I'm carrying. I have a little bottle of lotion, which you can fit a larger one. So for example, if you have one of these instead, that's gonna fit in there no problem. I also have a chapstick inside and a hand sanitizer. So if you're someone who likes to clip your hand sanitizers on the outside of your bag, you can. Um, there is, again, they put that metal loop right there. So, you, you know, if you have one of those like pocket back, a uh, little cute dressed up uh, hand sanitizer holders, you absolutely can have it hanging on the outside for quick access. In the other slip pocket, I think that's perfect for my keys because I feel... Um, I both I have mine and my boyfriend's keys in there. I feel like they're extra secure, you know, because they are secured by the top zipper and they're still quick access. I can just reach in there with this particular bag, you know, I have a really light, pretty interior. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't know about the other recycled cotton um, bucket crossbody bags, but this one feels like it's the regular signature cotton that we know and love before they switched over. And I'm not just saying that to say that, I, I mean it. It feels really soft in these pockets. While they're not quilted, of course, they are very, very soft. So when I reach my hand in there, it's almost like reaching my hand in a pile of magic fairy dust. It's very, very comforting. If we slip, switch to the other side, look at the span of that zipper pocket. It almost goes all the way to end from end to end. It's quite amazing for a bag this size. I had someone on my Instagram ask me, where do I think this bag ranges in terms of size? To me, this is like a medium bag. It's like a small medium bag. It's not, at least to me, it's not extremely large. It's not extremely small. It's medium, but also medium. You know, if you're someone who carries a lot, say, say if you're someone who completely packs a, vera, a small Vera tote to capacity, um, you might not be able to get every single item in that small Vera in this bag. I mean, it also depends on what you carry. I can't say that for sure because we all carry different things. We all carry different pouches and things like that. So, of course, you know, take that with a grain of salt because it's subjective. But for me, this is like a medium bag. I got everything in my small Jenny into this bag, but I could fit a few other things if I really wanted to push it. Um, so that's that's great. But you do have a large zipper pocket. Look how that hangs open. And I don't have very much in there right now. I have tissues, a mask. Oh, there's my other chapstick. I opened a new one because I couldn't find where I put this when I was switching over into it. And I put it in that zipper pocket. So, um, yeah. But look at that. 
So let's put something else in there so you can get an idea. Look at the look at the lotion in there. You got so much room. How about a zip ID? Okay, you want a little bit extra security and you use a zip ID as a wallet, let's say. And you want that zip ID to be even more secure on your body. That's gotta fit in there both horizontally and vertically all day. Honestly, you probably could fit three zip IDs packed full into that pocket. I'm, I'm pretty confident in saying that you could do that because that's how big the zipper pocket is. I love that about this bag and it's yet another reason why I'm so passionate about this style. So now that we've talked about those two pockets, or those three pockets rather, let's talk about that main interior. Um, and I also want to just note, look how the slip pockets don't hang into the main interior. Isn't that really nice? I have a couple of bags, uh, I won't name them, because I, you know, I have a few that are like this from different brands, where the slip pockets kind of hang open into the center. So when you're trying to get things in and out, you know, your stuff can kind of get stuck on the slip pocket and not go where you want it to go in the main interior. You don't get that with this bag. I just want to say that up front. At least for me, I haven't had that type of experience with this particular bag. So anyway, just that's a quick sidebar. Look in there and you see that base at the bottom? I have room for more. If I really wanted to, and this is for my, uh, my people who do carry a little more than I do, if you have a mini cosmetic that's, you know, chock full of makeup or uh, cleaning supplies or touch-up items or whatever it is, you can fit a mini cosmetic in there. I'm confident to say that you could squeeze one back there. That's, that's full. It's going to be packed in your bag, at least at the bottom. You could probably squeeze a little more at the top because this is a north-south style. But that's how much room you have. I don't have it full. And honestly, I like when I have that little extra room because A, it makes my bag lighter, and B, if I do come across a situation where I need a little bit more, I have the room. So I love that. So now that we've seen the interior multiple times with stuff inside, let's start to take things out. I have my um, Vera Bradley Rosewood eyeglass sleeve with my sunglasses. If you watch my videos, you've seen these too many times. Um, I have my wet ones and then my Vines Floral uh, small pencil pouch from the Pentagon's Trio. It's just got feminine products and things like that inside. This little Vera Bradley Kiss Me Twice in Petite Neon Blooms houses a pen that's kind of clipped to the flap and then my pepper spray. You know this wouldn't be a Kelly video if I did not have a lugged mini choo-choo in it because I've been carrying the mini choo-choo since it released from lug. I have several patterns in it. I, I am calling myself out here. This is, <laughs> I think this is my favorite lug product because it's just the perfect little compact size and in here, I just have, you know, Tylenol and allergy pills. I also have like a little Vicks vapor scent thing. Um, good for anxiety, but also just good for like your nasal passages. I have Band-Aids, floss picks, uh, nail clippers, nail file. And that's just my perfect little grab and go like med kit, so to speak. And then the uh, last thing in here, and I just realized I have my license showing. So let's just take that out. I have my wallet, and if you, hi Popo, my cat just came up to me, um, he wants to jump up on this table, but we can't do that right now, sweetie. He always wants to do that when I'm filming. He might bump it, so if the thing shakes a little bit, I apologize. Uh, if you've watched some of my, like, Instagram stories recently, this has been pretty consistently my wallet. Uh, this is the Vera Bradley Fruit Grove Zip ID. I do switch out my zip IDs every once in a while, but this consistently has been a favorite of mine. It's just so soft and it fits everything so perfectly. Um, for me, I have it packed pretty full. I got some gift cards for my birthday and so those are in there. I also have some change in there and yeah, so that's my little wallet. And the bag is empty besides the, the zipper pocket. I did leave that stuff in there. Um, but look at that. You see we have like a an oval base so if we look at the outside you can see that kind of reflected on the inside there and while this is kind of hanging in the middle that's what the zipper pull looks like it's like a nice little metal zipper pull so it doesn't have the ribbon it's not going to get stuck or be in the way but that is what the inside looks like lots of capacity so for you medium bag lovers out there who you like the small bags you like the mediums but you kind of want something in between 
the bucket crossbody bag is going to be your hero because it's great. Now, as promised, I have the retired Vera Bradley Carson Mini Hobo, which I think was the inspiration for the bucket bag that we see on the Vera Bradley website today. And you'll see side by side that the Carson Mini Hobo is a little smaller and has some differences, which we will go through. I do want to say really quickly, though, before we jump into this, there was a Carson Hobo that was large. It was much, much bigger than the one I'm showing you. I used to have a couple. Actually, I, I bought the ones that I had like right before or no, during the pandemic. And I did end up parting with those because in those bags, I was carrying like a lot of like cleaning supplies with me and a bunch of stuff. I think I have videos on my channel on at least the one I used to have in Indio. But you know, trying to declutter and just keep bags that I'm using consistently in my collection, I did end up parting with those. So unfortunately, I do not have those to compare. Uh, I do know that there are a few viewer friends out there who make YouTube videos that might have both. I, I hope they do upload a video. If they if they do, make sure go go watch those. But I do have the mini to show you today. So let's look at the mini features real quick. So right off the bat, you'll notice that we have these sort of winged loops here. And this is how Vera used to use, uh, at least with the Carson collection, this is how they used to attach the straps. So they put this like reinforced piece of fabric up here with this metal grommet on both sides. Whereas how they did it on this one, they did like a square metal grommet on one side and then attached the strap to the other. I prefer this. I'm not a huge fan of that winged look. It's not a deal breaker for me, but you know, that's just a difference there. Another major difference is that your outside pocket was a vertical with the rough metal zipper pocket. And so, you know, this is where they kind of marketed you put your phone. And so my hand goes all the way over to here. The edge seam of the bag is here. So, you know, you do have a substantial space. It also goes all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top. So you have like that much space to put, you know, essentially whatever you want. And it is lined, which is nice. Now, I will say, I prefer the hidden slip pocket here. I do prefer that. This is not as quick access for me because when it's on the body, you got to unzip, kind of stuff the phone in there. It could be a little bit hard when you have the bag completely packed, especially this is smaller than the bucket bag. And on top of that, you got the metal zipper. So sometimes you get a little bit resistance when you're trying to zip up when it's on the body. Um, easy to zip down when it's on the body, but not as easy to zip up. So that is my critique, sort of, of that pocket structure. Um, I prefer this one. This is much better. I think Vera did a, a better configuration with that. Um, here is the base. And let's see the bases side by side the best I can do it here so yeah look at the we've got quite the the difference in circumference there much more base on the bucket um so you know we got the the metal zipper on the top this was the era of metal zippers i don't think there are any carson hobos or mini hobos out there that do not have metal zippers i think they all have this feature you also have the pleather uh zipper pulls they're the looped ones with this and there are no other pockets on the outside. You just have the main opening. So for the inside configuration, I'm almost certain it's exactly the same as the bucket. So if you're familiar with the mini hobo, going inside of the bucket crossbody bag is going to be cake for you. So if we open this up, you know, you got a really nice big slip pocket. Again, this is smaller than the bucket, but still for this size, it's a nice big slip pocket. I'll also mention that the interior is like, you know, it is the... Um, how do I describe this? It's like the nylon interiors, whereas you're with the recycled cotton, you're getting like a, a recycled cotton interior. So there's a difference there. You also have the Vera Bradley nameplate on the back there. And then on the other side, you have two slip pockets with a little caveat here. So in one of the slip pockets, you have an additional elastic slip in there, if you can see that, and you have a loop. And what that was marketed as, if you put your phone in this outside zip. Do you see that grommet in there? 
So you could loop a charger cord in here, plug your phone in, zip this up and be on the go, and then have your battery pack in that elastic with the cord plugged into it and you'll be charging your phone. That was a huge thing back then that Vera was trying to do. They didn't put it in every single one of their styles, but they did put it in a lot of them. I don't know how popular that was because that is not a feature that they offer, to my knowledge, in any bag styles today. But, so if you pick up a Carson, you know, Carson shoulder bag, Carson hobo, whatever it is, I think most or all of them have that, you know, charging cord feature. They don't come with the charging block that has to be provided by you. Um, but they have the kind of hookup, so to speak. So one thing that I love about the Carson Hobo and Mini Hobo is that the strap is detachable. I'm usually someone who loves a good detachable strip, uh, swivel strap. So that is what you get with the Carson Mini Hobo and the Large Hobo. And this is a great strap. It's the same strap width as the Bucket Crossbody Bag with this one in Lilac Medallion. I don't know if I mentioned the print. This is Lilac Medallion. You get a solid purple strap, which I really like. And it's like a microfiber strap. And then look at these clips. You get a nice swivel clip. I love that modern hardware. Um, it does say Vera Bradley on it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. And it's just really nice. I love a good swivel uh, removable strap. So you do get that. And again, you know, that's how it, that's how it attached. And yeah, so let's look at the base from the inside point of view. So you get really good capacity for a small bag. Now, do you guys want me, do you want me to pack my stuff in here? I guess I can go ahead and do that. Um, I know you can't answer me <laughs> right now, um, but uh, I'll, I'll leave the zipper pocket stuff inside of the bucket crossbody bag. It's just a mask and uh, tissue, so that's going to fit in here, no problem. But let's just go ahead for fun and see what this stuff looks like. So I haven't used this bag in a little bit. It's been, I used it like for a couple weeks straight when I got it last year. And I just, I have too much stuff. So y'all know how that goes. I just, you know, constantly switch in and out of stuff. Um, but this bag made the cut because I did part with a lot of stuff recently and this was a bag that I decided to keep because I really do like it. Even though the bucket crossbody bag is wonderful um, and I actually do have another one coming as I mentioned, I wanted to keep this one too because it is smaller. Um, so that's what it looks like on the outside. Let's see if I can get this up this way. So it's a little bit slanted but so you can kind of get a, a sense you know this is taller and let's look at the inside of this and so you could see do you remember when we looked in the other one and we had like a big space in the back where you could stick that mini cosmetic we talked about not going to be able to do that with this one unless you put the mini cosmetic like right on the top you do have some space on the top but keep in mind when you have the bag on the body that top part is going to slouch a little bit there. So let's go ahead and get this crossbody strap on the body here. And so when you pick the bag up, it's going to have a, that little bit of a natural slouch there, which I honestly love the look of that. I really, really do. Um, so yeah, you still do have a little bit of room back here. You see behind the wet wipes there, you could absolutely stick a few more things but you're gonna have way more capacity in the, the current bucket bag style than you are in the Carson Mini Hobo. Again, I love this style. I'm not parting with this baby. I love this and the more I'm into it, I wanna switch into one of these like right now. Um, Cause like I said, I, I just came out of the small Jenny to do this video, but yeah, this is a wonderful style. So if you're someone who's looking at the bucket crossbody bag and maybe there's a feature you're not loving about it, like you want the swivel strap or you want something a little bit smaller, or maybe you like that vertical zipper pocket, you know, um, pick this up. This is on third party sites. It's not, you know, obviously not a current style anymore. Um, so here's my phone. Let's see how I can do this so you can see it. Just wanna show you again, this is the iPhone 13 mini. So it is, you know, the base of this right here, 
and the tip of it, if you can see that, let me get close here. You can see it back there. So it's not too bad to zip up, actually. That was easier than I said earlier than it, than it was. Um, let me get the strap up a little bit higher so you can see it in the frame. I like to wear this low on my body, this one, because it's so little. It's so cute, though. Look how cute. Come on. Look how freaking cute that is. That is so cute. So I know this is empty, but let me just put them both on at the same time so you can see what they look like. So, Carson Mini Hobo, bucket crossbody bag. Look at the width at the top. Look at the, or, or I mean, look how wide it is there compared to that. So, yeah, both great bags. I would say, again, if I haven't said this already, the bucket crossbody bag is right in between, an in-between size between the Carson Mini Hobo and then the large one. Um, I'll go ahead and stick a photo on the screen here of the Carson Hobo, the big one. It's so hard to like roll this chair on the floor. Um, just so you can get a look at it. Obviously, it's hard to compare because it's just a photo of it and I don't have it in person to, you know, schlep next to these other bags, but that's what it, it looks like. And if you want something that's like really big where you can stuff like a medium cosmetic, and maybe your iPad and a couple other things, get the Carson Hobo, the big one, because that's gonna be able to accommodate your larger bags or your, your larger items, rather. So yeah, that is my review, what's in my bag, and comparison with the Carson Mini Hobo. Again, this is the bucket bag in the new Aerial Floral print. Again, I do have one of these coming in Bloom Boom Navy, so if you do want to see another video on that one, whether you just want to see the pattern or you want to see a whole nother what's in my bag, that's fine. Just comment down below so I know that and I can get that up as soon as I do get that in. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything that I missed or if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down below. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!